Welcome to my library! Hello my friends and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a library bookshelf tour, I guess? I don't really know what to call it. This is my little my little mini library, right? My little bookshelves and my setup and I've had a few of you ask to kind of take you through my bookshelves and what it all looks like and some of the decor and give you a little bit more of a close-up. So since I have, I didn't really rearrange my little area, but I did kind of have to reorganize it a bit when we brought out our air conditioner for the summer. So this is the current setup and I'm actually really pleased with it. I actually really, really like it right now. I decided that since I'm actually pretty happy with how things are looking and how, you know, it, it's coming together, I figured this would be a perfect time to do an updated little bookshelf library tour and just kind of show you the behind the scenes because I know you don't get to see everything from this angle. A little bit's cut off so then you'll get a little bit more up close and personal view. I'll try to go through some of the decor that a lot of you ask questions about and kind of point out where I've gotten things. I'll have links in the description as well, but yeah, that is what we're doing today. So that's it for an intro. I am going to get this all set up so I can start showing you around my little library. All right, so first up are my TBR shelves. You probably have seen these because I do my blindfolded TBR picking videos. So these are my spinning bookshelves. I feel like these are probably my most interesting piece. Well, that's not true, but I feel like a lot of people are interested by these. I got them from Walmart and currently they do not have a organization system. <laughs> At the beginning, when I first got them, I was separating them by genre, so I had like horror in one section, thriller in one section, you know, romance in one section, YA. I had them all grouped together, but with the blindfolded videos, it's just easier to have it all mixed together and like <laughs> just have books kind of scattered. Plus, I kind of abandoned the system because I buy a lot of books. I feel like everyone kind of knows that. So I just kind of needed to shove books into places and make it as easy for me as possible. So right now, it's not organized, really. I would say it's like an organized chaos, probably. So for these bookshelves, I feel like the only thing that is pretty separated at this point is the bottom like two sections of each uh, shelving unit. They are solely for manga. So all my manga is at the bottom, mainly because <laughs> I just wanted to keep manga separate. I didn't want them to kind of be intermingling. I just felt like that would be a little bit chaotic, more chaotic than I would like. So my manga is completely separate from my like book area, but um, I also don't keep a lot of my manga in the sections. So unfortunately, this is not all my manga that I have on my TBR. There are piles that I have other places because <laughs> I just haven't gotten around to reorganizing my manga section. There's plenty of room down there for me to start like putting more manga down there. I just haven't gotten around to it. But otherwise this is pretty much, I don't want to say all of my TBR books because unfortunately these aren't all of my TBR books. So I have some piles that I need to sort through and put some books into my shelves. I do it, um, I would say regularly every few months I reorganize this shelving situation and start putting more TBR books in it, especially after, you know, a few months where I've read a bunch of books off my shelves. It's easier to then find space to put more books on it. So currently these are not all my uh, TBR books. These are just the ones that are on my shelves. I do have about... Mm, I'd say like a good pile 
that I have to go through that is not <laughs> not anywhere in your eyesight because that would be like an eyesore so I do need to sort through that and then I have a pile of books that are like books that were sent to me that are arcs and stuff that I don't I try not to include in here because it gets a little messy and then I don't want to forget which books I need to read by a certain time so as of right now this is pretty much the setup for my spinning rotating bookshelves there is a lot of books on here. I, I did count them at one point. I haven't recounted. I don't really want to know because I think it would probably make me sick to my stomach knowing how many books sit on these shelves that I haven't read and I haven't gotten to yet. But so far this is the TBR section of my little library. So on the other side of my TBR shelves, this is a little like side table that I kind of used for two purposes. I use it to have some like decor on top. I'll show you some of the decor in a second. And then the second reason I got this table is there are two like under shelves things, I guess. And I use it for <laughs> storage because I run out of space for books a lot and frequently. So I try to come up with like different ways of making my space as tidy as possible. So these little shelves hold like books I've already read and I obviously want to keep. So the top shelf has a lot of manga. There's some manga in the back and then manga piles in the front. Um, a few books off to the side and then the second little shelf is more books that I really liked and I wanted to keep. I just didn't have space on any of my bookshelves for them so I just kind of like put them there for the time being because I don't know what else to do with them. Um, but back to the decor. So I have the flickering candles that you see part of my background. Some are on this table. These are from Amazon and they have like a little remote control like clicker thing that, uh, you know, turns them on and off and like has a timer and all that kind of thing. This is kind of a new addition. These are a pile of books that I'm keeping like on top of my table and kind of off to the side. These are my favorites of the year so far of 2023 that I've, you know, thus read. These are my favorite books and I just kind of wanted to keep them off to the side. One, because when I go to film like favorites videos, sometimes I forget books that I've like read and I it's hard for me to go back all the way to January from the end of the year. So I'm trying to keep this here as kind of like a reminder of like what I've really, really enjoyed so far so I can keep tabs and kind of just like, and I guess keep myself prepared for those videos that will come towards the end of the year. We have my little candelabra. This I got from Home Goods, I believe, last October. I don't have any candlesticks in it right now just because every time I move the table or move the candelabra, it just gets like really annoying and the candlesticks fall out. So there's no candlesticks in it right now, but this is my skeleton candelabra and I love it so much. Then we have this painting that I have in a picture frame. This is from the Gloomy Grove. They are one of my favorite like print shops that I shop from. I have several of their prints and I try to like change up this picture frame occasionally. I haven't done it in a while but this one is like a gloomy bookstore with a little ghost going book shopping and I think it's really freaking cute and I just really like it so this is also on my table. Then I have this like uh, I was gonna say a jar, no. A cup full of all my bookmarks. I will say 90% of them are from A Stranger Dream. They have some of the best paper bookmarks ever and I just collected a crap ton of them because I am an addict and I keep them here for safekeeping but also just in reach in case I need a bookmark. And then this little guy here I don't really want to pick up because it's heavy and I'm not really like... <laughs> I don't know if I can keep it stable so I'm scared but this was a present from my mom. This is a crystal ball and the holder is the Grim Reaper holding the crystal ball and I think it is so freaking cute. Next up is actually probably my most prized possession which is my coffin bookshelf. I absolutely love this thing so much. My mom got it for me for my birthday and I believe she got it off of Etsy. I know a lot of people ask me that but 
she got it off of Etsy and it's, you know, hand built. It's absolutely beautiful and it's just like such a like a statement piece and I love it so much. So on top of the coffin, I have this little ghost vase from Killstar and inside of it, I just have Sam's lollipop from Trick or Treat. And yeah, I just thought that was kind of cute. And then also on top, I have this little ghost wearing a witch hat that says, boo, <laughs> I got this from Home Goods or Marshalls, I believe. And it's like one of those fabric little it's not like a plush, it's just like a little standing thing. But I think it's really cute and I keep it up all year, obviously. And then I have this teeny tiny little ceramic pumpkin. I believe I got it from the dollar section at Target like three years ago or something like that. Um, but I just put it on top because I think it's cute. So now in terms of the shelving, the top shelf I feel like you all know already has the majority of my Darcy Coates collection. I try to keep them all together, but unfortunately there's just so many of them that they all don't fit on one shelf. So I kind of had to start stacking books and I had to move some to the second shelf. It really sucks. I wanted them all on one shelf. I'm going to try to rearrange things at some point because I, I really do want them all like really just together <laughs> instead of like how it looks right now. But Yes, I do have a dedicated shelf to Darcy. Surprise, surprise. On the second shelf, I have more Darcy's, obviously. Some books are stacked on top, and those are just really my favorites. So the second shelf is kind of dedicated to some of my favorite horror books. Like, just some of the favorites that I have. I feel like you all know, like, books I really love. I talk about them a lot. There's Cackle and Slewfoot and The Last House on Needless Street, No One Gets Out Alive, White Smoke, <laughs> and then we just have some that I really enjoyed like Cherish Farah, Horrid, obviously Mexican Gothic's a favorite. I also have Nothing But Blackened Teeth on this shelf, which if you all know, I did not like that book, but... I absolutely love the cover and I've decided to keep it solely for that reason, even though I didn't like the book, but I'm imperfect, so I just had to do it. On the third shelf, again, we have some of my absolute favorite horror books. And then off to the side in um, their standing up vertical, those are some of my favorite thrillers, like some of my all-time favorites that I absolutely loved and some that I just really enjoyed and think that they were like really like standout books. I have them off to the side. And then even lower down, I did the exact same thing. I just flipped sides. So the ones vertical are horror books that I really enjoyed and that I wanted to keep like on the coffin bookshelf. And then to the other side of them, there are some thriller books that I absolutely love. And then at the very, very, very bottom on the bottom shelf is the whole series of Erased, which is absolutely one of my favorite animes and mangas of all time. So of course I had to give it a place on my coffin bookshelf. So really my coffin bookshelf is just all my favorites. <laughs> I try to keep all my absolute favorites. It didn't really work, of course. I have some absolute favorites that don't fit and some of my absolute favorites are on my bigger bookshelf because I had already put them there before I got my coffin bookshelf and it was just a lot of effort to rearrange some things. So these aren't all of my favorites, but I would say a majority of my favorites are on here. Some books aren't my favorites. They're just kind of shoved in there because I had room. <laughs> I'm all about uh, shoving as many books as many places to uh, really get the uh, full usage out of my bookshelves. So next we have my big bookshelf. And honestly, <laughs> this is the most chaotic one. This is the one I've had the longest, and it obviously houses the most books. It's just really chaotic right now. I I try to make it organized, but it's, it's extremely hard. Um, I really run out of room a lot, so I kind of end up having to shove books into whatever place I can find. So this bookshelf is very messy. It's, it's kind of hidden by my coffin bookshelf as well, and it's... It's just like a lot. I, I wish I had it a little bit more organized, but it is what it is right now. So on top 
of the bookshelf I have some stacks of books that I just don't have space for. There are books I obviously like and want to keep but I just don't have anywhere to put them right now so they're kind of just housed on top of the bookshelf in stacks. It looks very messy and very chaotic but I mean I figured you all would know that I have chaotic shelves so it makes sense. The top shelf um, houses a lot of my book of the month books, especially the ones that I obviously really liked and wanted to keep, like No Exit, which is one of my all-time favorite thrillers ever, um, and then some of the Riley Sagers I really enjoyed. A lot of people ask about my submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society plaque that I have. Um, I absolutely love it, but it is from Sinister Signs, which again will be linked down below in case you want to check it out, but I get a lot of questions about that one. I absolutely love it. Same for the Reader Beware, You're In For A Scare, the Goosebumps sign, which I also really love, um, but those two are from Sinister Signs. I have my Coraline doll up there, I have um, my stack of Anya Alborns, who is one of my favorite authors, I just have like mishmash books up there. I have Blood on the Tracks by Shuzo Oshimi off to the side because I don't have anywhere else to put that stack and I absolutely love that series but I just don't have any room for it. A second shelf is really my manga shelf, majority of it is Junji Ito, I feel like that's not surprising. We all know I have a Junji Ito obsession, but I have uh, everything by him there. I have Death Note. I have, um, there's my Valentine's Sam that Justin got me for Valentine's Day. And then you have the Reader Beware You're In For A Scare sign with the neon green witch claws holding it. Those claws are also from Sinister Signs. I have a few pairs of them. I absolutely love them. I think they're so cool. I really like how it looks holding the sign. I think they look just really, really awesome. In the next shelf, I have books that were sent to me by authors. I have um, Goosebumps, some like Fear Street books, some just R.L. Stein books, some YA books, some manga graphic novels that I couldn't fit anywhere else. Um, just some books like literally hanging off because I don't have room. I have the all-in-one edition of Death Note because I absolutely love Death Note. I have the regular Sam from Trick or Treat, some more candles, and then that cute little Sam um, wood slab that Justin got me for Christmas, I believe, one year, and I absolutely love it because I love Sam and I love Trick or Treat. The next row down, again, is just a mishmash of things. I have some Stephen King, some Grady Hendrix, Oh my god, Keelan Patrick Burke, uh, thrillers, I don't know. And then the last uh, bottom row is again just a mishmash. I have a Rachel Harrison down there which I would really like to move to be with the rest of my Rachel Harrisons on my coffin shelf. Alright my friends, so that is it for my updated mini library tour. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was fun. I'm a little out of breath from moving the camera around and rearranging <laughs> myself around the room. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was fun or interesting or cool to see. I don't know. I know some of you have asked for it, so I thought I would do it. So hopefully this is a video that you are interested in. <laughs> if I do rearrange or do something different or, you know, do more updates to my little library. I will definitely make a updated video again. I'll just keep filming them whenever, you know, big changes happen or <laughs> you all are more interested. I don't know. I just hope you enjoyed and it was a little bit of an entertaining, fun video for you all. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. That way I know and I can keep doing similar videos, I guess. I can't really do this video that often, but I can do videos similar to it, I guess. If you're interested in that, give me a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I also have a Patreon. We can become friends, talk about books, horrifying books, thrilling books, romance books, manga, all that good fun stuff. And with that being said, I hope you all are having a great day, night, morning, afternoon, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!